It's no secret that heavyweight is the most popular division in boxing. When two big guys hit each other, anything can happen at any moment. The intrigue is alive until the last round. In this video, I invite you to remember the biggest sensations in heavyweight, which ended with spectacular knockouts. Fight fans, welcome to the Boxing Channel. Joshua vs. Ruiz Jr. Anthony Joshua defended his three titles vs. Andy Ruiz Jr. In the third round, Joshua's left hook sent Ruiz to the canvas and it seemed that the end was very close, but the Mexican got up and shook the world, knocking down AJ with his great combination. Joshua got up, but fell down again in the end of the round. In the seventh round, we saw the great exchange of blows and Ruiz was better again. Joshua fell down several times and after all that, the referee stopped the fight. twice in that third. Vladimir Klitschko, the only other boxer. Now a jab up top that catches Joshua. Joshua, big left hand that stung Ruiz, and then Ruiz right back to Joshua, and Joshua in trouble. Joshua finally landing a big blow, and now another. Can Ruiz counter? Joshua's down. He is a huge struggle now. Maybe all that that's is it. it! That is it! Andy Ruiz! Klitschko vs. Sanders Using blistering hand speed and dynamite power, the 37-year-old Southpaw, who had boxed just twice in three years before the fight, knocked down the highly touted favorite three times in the opening round. Klitschko didn't expect such power from the opponent and couldn't recover during the one-minute break. And in the second round, Corey Sanders finished the business. about to become the last big bust if he goes down again, although the clock is running out on this round. So Vladimir Klitschko will do in this situation. He was able to come back and knock Sanders out. Now Klitschko goes down a third time, and there are two minutes, 53 seconds to go in this round. And he's not seeing that left hand come. He just cannot see the left hand that Sanders is hitting him with. And he's attacking to try to get out of trouble instead of holding. And this is not going to go well. Another knockdown, the fourth time, and the referee, Gennaro Rodriguez, stops the fight. Lewis vs. Rachman Haseem Rachman was supposed to be just another scalp for Lennox Lewis before his mega fight against Mike Tyson. By staying in the U.S. and in doing so, failing to acclimatize to the South African location, Lewis did everything to lose for the second time in his career. The champion wanted to knock out Rahman very quickly and started to miss shots, was careless and sensationally lost. In the fifth round, it was a great knockout for Rahman after a big overhand right. That right hand of his has come in. A worth great challenger he is. Rockman uh, said that he was going to make this one. He's got to get close in case they are oh, beautiful. This one he was trying to suck. Suck with his Lewis in again to turn the right hand. Rockman oh, still there. Right yeah, hand goes too far away. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh he's got it. He's got it. He hey. got careless and he's got it. Oh, is it Oliver McCall all over again? Yes. It is. And Lewis has gone. Lewis has gone. It's another upset of immense. Moore vs. Foreman. George Foreman was 45 and he wanted to break the record and become the oldest champion in heavyweight ever. Michael Moore was a young, undefeated champion. Moore controlled the pace of the fight from the beginning and kept winning rounds. In spite of the physical pounding Moore was giving him, Foreman remained on his feet. In the 10th round, Foreman landed several effective combinations and Moore fell down on the canvas and couldn't get up. He's making a lot of contact though, Gil. Now he finally throws a couple of punches to the body. He should keep doing that. Another one to the body. George was sitting here, he would say those punches are going to have an effect later. <laughs> 
after the fight by George Foreman. And Laura was hurt by that right hand, and he backs into a stationary position against the rope. And a right uppercut by George. George knows he hurt him. And now moves. And takes jabs for his trouble. Look at that competitive spirit coming out now. Great right hand landing for Foreman. He's had a pretty good round here in number 10. Again, Atlas didn't count the Atlas. Here we go again with the Atlas. Uh, Michael Moore is that down. Down goes Moore on a right hand. An unbelievably close in right hand shot. It happens. It happens. Tyson vs. Douglas. James Douglas was an absolute underdog at 42 to 1, but he managed to end Mike Tyson's undefeated championship reign in the 10th round by KO in Tokyo, Japan. The fight was very competitive. Both boxers had their moments, and Douglas was even knocked down in round 8. But Douglas showed character, and after the great combination in the 10th round, Tyson fell down to the canvas and couldn't get up in time. To this day, this upset is considered the most incredible in the history of boxing. Raise the chin of Buster Douglas, and Douglas answering the look. And the fact of the matter is, it's Buster that's making it the fight. And it was one big shot again. He's down, he comes with the uppercut. Somehow or other, Buster's throwing shots back. Look at this. We're past the midway point in round nine, and I expected, my, look at this. Look at Buster, we got him again. Buster fights back strongly, landing some big shots. And now he can't get killers. Look at this. Who would ever have expected this? I haven't seen Mike in this kind of trouble before. Look at Mike actually grasping to hang on. Mike missing the shots. Buster down, as you know, in the last round. Together is Buster landing these. Oh, nice uppercut by Buster Douglas. Look at this. He's knocked Mike Tyson down for the first time in his career. Tyson hits the canvas. He's in big trouble. He may not be able to recover. It's up to seven and eight. He's not gonna make it. Foreman vs. Ali. George Foreman had proved irresistible as champion, demolishing both Joe Frazier and Ken Norton in quick time, two fighters Ali had lost to in the preceding years. He was undefeated, and most of his fights he won by knockout. Ali absorbed all of the champion's brutal attacks before knocking the tired Foreman to the floor in the eighth round. Foreman couldn't get up in time. Ali shocked the world again. Looks like, uh, well, a bit arm weary until that right hand is trying to set up and control him. Now, it's a pretty good, good heavy right hand. Uh, two, maybe three good punches. That punch taken on the gloves. That one slips by the left ear. Ali, a sneaky right hand. Another sneaky right hand. This time he works over the shoulder of Foreman. Thank you for watching Fight Fans! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel!